reporting on the International Comedy Film Festival in the French ski resort of Alpe d'Huez. It's a hard job, but somebody has to do it. This is the 15th edition of the festival with eight movies in competition. Belgian film Hasta la Vista by Geoffrey Antoven walked off with the coveted public prize. It's about three young men who are desperate to lose their virginity. Under the pretext of a wine tasting tour, they go to Spain, hoping to meet some willing girls. Entre 1988 et 1990, vous avez donné du sperme sous le pseudonyme de Starbuck à la Clinique de la France. Starbuck, directed by Ken Scott, a non. film from Donc, Quebec. At 42 years old, David, David is still living the life of an adolescent, but his past catches up with him when his girlfriend vous falls pregnant. Très bonne qualité. Je sais que vous en Yes, well, we've received two wonderful prizes, the jury prize. I'm really touched. It's the first time we've shown Starbuck in France. A very good reaction. I'm really delighted for the film. And also the acting prize for Patrick Huard. That was great because it was a very demanding role. No! Twenty years earlier, David was a serial sperm donor. Now, 142 of his biological children want to discover who he is. Radio Stars by Romain Levy was the big winner of the evening with three gongs, including the Grand Prix, the main prize. <laughs> we love the film, not because we think we're brilliant, but because we've made a film we love, with music we love, with actors who weren't necessarily easy to understand for everyone, but who we love. Ben is in professional freefall and his love life is in tatters. He returns to Paris where he meets Alex, star radio presenter of Breakfast Club. These guys uh, run the radio, they're big-headed because their program works well, they're doing well, they live in Paris, they're on our top station, they have loads of girls hanging around, so they've got pretty high opinions of themselves. But pride comes before a fall. They lose their audience, they're no longer number one. And that doesn't make the bosses happy. So they're put on a bus and told to regain their losslessness and conquer the provinces. A horrifying thought because they're from Paris. Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Radio stars will be released in France on April the 11th. Coordinator d'émission qui veut nous faire une vanasse. Benjamin, tu violes un enfant et après tu lui offres un bonbon. Ah ouais. Ouais, limite, limite, limite. C'est vraiment génial. Ouais. Enfin, si, parce que normalement, on, enfin, on fait l'inverse. Oui, on a compris. Normalement, on viole pas les enfants. And it's on this wonderful prize we close the 15th edition of the Comedy Film Festival at Alpe d'Huez.